Hello and thanks for joining. You're welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see how you can add additional storage to your Linux servers. So this is formatting a new drive that's been added, a new disk drive, creating the right file system on it and mounting it to make it available for use. So the first thing is to check to verify the disk that are on the server and to see if we have something to work with. And we can essentially do that with the lsblk command. So that's your listing the block devices, lsblk. Uh, the output you're seeing here is uh, VDA. This is one of the drives that has partitions VDA, VDA 1, 2, 3 as well. This, uh, this root and swap. But these are the drives that, these are the disks that we can create new partitions on. So uh, we, we can just use VDB. Uh, we may as well use VDC or VDD, but uh, that's uh, VDB is all right for, for this use. The labeling depends on what you have on your system. It could be SDA or SDB. It all depends. But for mine, this is what I have. So VDB, that's the drive we're going to use for this. And first thing is to create a new partition using the FDisk utility. So this is FDisk. And what device do we want to, to use? So the device we want to use is VDB. We want to create uh, a new partition using VDB, the device VDB. So welcome to FDisk. So it tells you this is, you're going to make changes and you can write the changes after you're done. So be careful, it says. First thing, what do we want to do? We want to create a new partition. So N, right hit and N, N, enter. That is a new partition. What type do we want to uh, create? Primary, so a primary partition. And then it's going to ask for the number, the partition number. Default is one, so we, we'll, go, we'll go with the default. So the first sector, go with the default as well. This is where you define the size of the drive so the partition we want to create the size we want for this let's say uh, five five gb yeah five five gig so five so the size we want is five the last sector so first sector then the last sector uh, plus five so we want to create a partition of five gig, uh, gigs from vdb which is a total which has a total of 15 uh, gigs available so hit enter you see it says here created a new partition one of type uh, linux and then size is five uh, five gigs so to to just see that this has been created you can verify that so if i say print it's going to show me that it has been, this is a sector, uh, 512 uh, bytes. Uh, the information I'm looking for is this. Yeah, so the device def VDB1 has been created and then this is sector and this is the size. This is what uh, we're interested in. So that's the size. And now we've verified that. For us to save this, we use w dash write. We're writing this to memory. So you can see the partition table has been altered and then it syncs to this. Now we need to verify that we've got the new partition created. So with LSBLK again, right? Because initially we use LSBLK to see that's list the block device. So LSBLK will show us, will give us a list of the drives and the partition. So you see VDB1, VDB now has VDB1. So it means this disk has this partition first partition on on vdb is vdb is vdb1 so with vdb1 created now we can format vdb1 to give us the file system we need so using makefs so we can format that to use ext4 the file system so makefs so we can use makefs.ext 4 
So make fs.exe for what device do we want? So we want to dev vdb1 because we have a partition already. So that partition is what we want format as vdb1. So you can see that's been done. So creating file system, allocating group tables, done, writing everything, done. So now we have created a partition. We have formatted it as ext4 using makefx, that's mkfs. So now we need to create a mount point where we're going to mount this drive. So let's call this mount point data. So m mkdr, we're creating a new directory uh, data. It can be anything. It depends on your particular use case. So we have data. So now we can mount that new ext4 partition that we we formatted to this mount point. So that partition is VDB1 from this, you can see. So this the disk and then this the story. This is the first partition, VDB1. So we want to mount VDB1, that's the, the as which is EXT, which has been formatted as EXT4 to this new mount point that we created, MNT data so hit enter let me clear this so we can go up uh, so we've mounted this so mount device vdb1 on mnt slash data which is the new uh patch uh, the new mount point we've created so we need to just verify this uh this free dash h just verify to see if it's there so you can see the device vdb1 has been mounted on mnt data and that's the device we just created that's the, the the new drive we created so now to make this persist a reboot because if you reboot this this on memory if you reboot this it's going to um lose the configurations the, the disk configuration so now we need to edit a file which is the etcfs tab file so we vim but before then because in this file, we, we are going to use the uh, the UUID, if you like. That's the, the ID identifier of this this drive. So we need to get that first. So we can use the block, uh, block ID command and look for, let's grab for what's the name of our device. So block ID, let's grab, grab for dev vdb1 left vdb1 so hit enter so this is the uuid4 let's copy this and have it handy so let's just copy the uid so this is just uh, us trying to modify etsy fs tab to have this drive mounted uh, permanently even after a reboot if you reboot the system it's going to come up the drive is going to come up so using vim you can use any text editor so you can uh, i'm using vim for this so etsy fs tab we want to modify the contents of etsy fs tab and scroll uh, i to insert insert mode then come to the last the bottom line down 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 so let's see hit enter so uuid the uuid i copied earlier i'll just paste that here and then i want to mount this in mnt slash data as ext4 i am going with the the default of uh, one one two for this this check so right column right and quit that's it so now if we want to be sure that this is going to that the content of fs tab has been modified correctly we can use mount a that's remount all the drive all the volumes so hit enter since there is no error we're good it means we've got nothing to worry about in terms of the drives that uh, has been mounted so and that's it df-h we're going to have 
dev vdb1 is there if we go to the mount point which is slash mnt data you can see that it's there and we can create files or do anything with that you can present that storage that space for any uh, use